Welcome back. You're still tuned into Midcap Radar on CNBC TV 18. As promised, we'll get chatting with the management of NIIT Limited. Push the weeks out of quarter, uh, quarter two numbers on a YY basis. Uh, the stock is down 2.5% as we speak. Mr. Vijay Thadani, the vice chairman and managing director of the company, is joining us now. Mr. Thadani, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, well, I was looking at your businesses. Uh, you have two segments. One is CLG and the other one is S&C. In the CLG business, you had earlier guided for a growth of 3% on a sequential basis on, on constant currency terms. It has declined by 5% on a sequential basis. What led to this and what is the outlook going forward? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much uh, and thank you for uh, all the nice questions. Uh, CLG business, we did a uh, uh, guide at the beginning of uh, the year for a single digit growth. Uh, on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis between Q1 and Q2. Uh, and on 30th September, based on the track results, the track record that we had, or the results that we had of the previous, uh, of the last three months, we did issue a big a pre-announcement uh, guidance uh, and update where we said that we are likely to see a negative growth this quarter because of a sharp decline in consumption with one large client. And, uh, and that is what it has worked out to be, and that is what uh, we are reporting right now. So it is, in, it is consistent with the update that we had given. We had also said that this speed bump is likely to be recovered from in the coming quarters, and we will be back on a QOQ uh, <coughs> growth uh, for the balance part of the year, and therefore we'll end the year on a high single-digit year-on-year growth in revenues. Okay. So, that's so you are expecting maybe some amount of makeup in the second half of the fiscal, uh, despite this volatility that you've seen from one particular client. In fact, uh, can you give us how many customers you added in the quarter in the corporate learning group segment? And what are you guiding for in terms of addition of clients? What is your visibility? Yeah. So typically, we have been adding. Uh, so there are two or three good things happening there. Our client acquisition track record continues to be either the same or accelerating. So this year, uh, this quarter, we have added three new clients, three new logos and have also had a 100% renewal record continuing with three renewals that we signed this quarter. Our revenue visibility is at $305 billion, and we have 70 active MTS clients, uh, which is the way we define CLG's uh, customer universe in terms of the big clients that we service in managed training services. Uh, Oh, and in the coming quarters, we do have a very, very healthy pipeline and, in fact, are uh, likely to see an improvement in our quarterly metrics of how many we add uh, every quarter. Not only that, we uh, also are very confident of maintaining our uh, renewal record that we have had for all this time. Okay. So positive commentary on your corporate learning group segment, but generally we also talk about your skills and career group. This is one business which has started turning around EBITDA uh, break even in the quarter gone by, this time around 3% margins out here. Uh, are you continuing with your growth guidance that this will either break even this year or even actually report an EBITDA growth this time and a 50% growth? And what is driving this for you this time? Yeah. So, uh, yes, first answer, pa first part of the question, the answer is yes, it had 119% year-on-year growth in, uh, in this quarter and 3% uh, EBITDA. Uh, this business is uh, actually shaping up well, just to remind ourselves, and therefore will end with 50% plus uh, uh, revenue growth as well as a small EBITDA margin. What we have to remember is that this business is in this part of the business is in an investment phase because we went through a huge transformation exercise and we are right now investing in this business for its growth. This is not its steady state volume. Its steady state volume should be four or five times this, and that's what uh, I think we are we are heading for. So in this investment phase, there will be times 
then there will be small uh, uh, the the investment may be a little excess of uh, the return that the business is generating but overall for this year we are holding on to this margin and uh, this revenue growth uh, projection and i think the business is shaping extremely well there are three components which are contributing to this there is the stack root which is our uh, deep skills boot camps which are doing exceedingly well in fact have grown very significantly tpas their talent pipeline as a service that is very well appreciated and has become a very strong part of our overall business and the third is rps consulting which was the uh, business that we acquired about a year ago which has done exceedingly well in last one year so, so go ahead no you go ahead uh, <laughs> i just wanted to ask you about acquisitions because you did mention rps consulting and then you did make an acquisition of an ai or hybrid workforce focused company nonscape some time ago uh, tell us what is the plan when it comes to acquisitions for the remaining part of the fiscal how much cash do you have on books how much are you willing to deploy is there any visibility that you can provide us many questions at once so okay let's go one by one nolscape as a, is not an acquisition it is a mind investment that we investment, made yeah. it is an investment that we made and we are very very excited about that because that uh, is uh, uh, investing in a very strong engine which will not only have the benefit of the investment uh, and its return but also the fact that it it fills a gap in our offering to our customers and we see a a large benefit coming to us from the revenue and uh, and uh, and the business opportunities that it will uh, generate so dolls we proud of and very excited about and there will be uh, more such opportunities that may be coming okay. uh declared that inorganic growth is an important part of our growth nolscape to the, to the to our business strategy will add a lot but to our pnl uh because it's a minority investment will sit under the ebitda line the benefits of that okay. however uh what we are what we are uh, uh what we are looking at and constantly evaluating are other inorganic opportunities and in fact have have uh, have uh, uh, accelerated that focus because when times are down at that time more interesting options and assets become available and we have to be prepared for that so there are a Discussions and as and when they materialize, that's when we would be talking to you about. Of course, we'll speak to you then as well. Last question before we let you go: How much is digital a part of your overall revenues? Is it a pie that will grow even further from current levels? Uh, actually, everything that we do is nearly digital now. Okay. So, digital. TPAS is fully digital. Uh, RPS, a lot large part of their business is fully digital. CLG a very significant part of the business is okay. digital. Uh we are a digitally transformed organization. Now the question is you have to find the right mix between uh on prem or physical versus uh, digital balance which is what we believe that hybrid will be the future of learning. Okay all right Mr. Thadani thanks a lot for joining us and taking us Uh, taking us through what the plans of the company are and taking all our questions as well well that's the word coming in from NIIT limited they are expecting high single digit growth this year and are in the investment phase in their snc business uh, stock still down to 1/2% on the back of some weakness that we saw in revenues and profitability this time around for the markets nifty is in the red down 6 points